For more updates, click on subscribe and click on bell button for latest notifications. Hi friends, welcome to Tech ARK IT YouTube channel. My name is Ravi. In this video session, we are going to see Kubernetes deployment. So what is the deployment in Kubernetes? Um, we just simply call it a replication controller. Um, how that would be helpful and what exactly the definition is of it and how you can deploy, uh, do the deployment on the Kubernetes, right? What is deployment in Kubernetes? A deployment is a resource object. So everything is object on the Kubernetes used to manage the deployment and scaling of applications. Uh, used to manage the deployment the object is used to manage the deployment and scaling of the applications scaling of the applications in the sense whatever the desired state you put it on the declarative way so that is a deployment in terms of kubernetes it provides declarative updates to applications ensure that a specific number of port replicas are running at any given point of time. So the replication controller, or the, the replication controller, um, whenever you define the desired state, whatever the desired state you required, example, the number of replicas you required on the um, applications, example, I required a 10 Nginx containers, then whatever the desired state you specified on the deployment config, so that would be followed. Ensure that the desired state is uh, maintained at always. Deployments are essential for managing the life cycle of the applications in Kubernetes cluster, enabling features such as rolling updates, rollback to previous versions and scaling. Example, um, if you want to update your containers, it makes sure that doing the rolling updates, like if you define the replication uh, replicas of 10, um, so the container uh, ports are um, maintaining 10 count as a desired state. So when you do the config update, like uh, you updated the ML config with the new contain new port configuration, then when you apply that, so it makes sure that it do one by one like the rolling update so one container is up to date and it's bring online then another container another. so something like that so it rolls the updates one by one so that it won't impact the services so that way it's, it's going to update your application at the rolling updates it maintains um, in simple times if you want to say the deployment is a type of replication control that helps as keep the Ports in the desired state. So that is a, a simple statement if I can say that. So if you see think that um, this a blue background is on a deployment, then the ports deployed using the ML configuration on the Kubernetes. So let's go and uh, see that how a deployment config looks like. Um, this is a simple deployment config looks like and it is maintained um, in something this way like API version. So the API version is a specific to the API version of the deployment resource. So what are the resource in previous um, uh, video also I have specified what exactly is the API version and where to see when you are deploying the pod. Kind kind is a deployment indicates that the ml uh, file is defined the uh, deployment object or port service or whatever it is the kind of deployment what you are doing um, that's one and metadata is something like a data about the data so the data uh, about this deployment information and the specs specs is um, defines the desired state of the deployment like here if you see that the replications replicas requires are three okay and uh, you are specifying the label here so the label is in a value which when you search for uh, the components inside the kubernetes the where basically identify based on the label right and you will have the a template example the template information contains the port template specifications like uh, what's the um, 
specifications you required for the template and again the metadata information about that template and the um, specs so the specs is the containers so what container and what container version you want to do deploy like defines the port containers including the container name image uh, port number like where you want to expose that port number and all the details right um, so this is the deployment in simple term like uh, mandatory fields and the mandatory info is required uh, api version should compulsory match and kind is mandatory to which type of kind you're doing like a deployment or port or service or whatever it is in this case we are talking about the deployment so we are doing a deployment and the metadata information for our identification and label is mandatory and label should not be a um, uh, duplicated uh, so it should be a unique value of it so that you can easily identify the deployment what you are doing so let's jump into the cluster and do the deployment how it looks like let's see how we can deploy the deployment um, in the kubernetes so here i have the three node cluster um, it's the one so i have three node cluster here and i have the the same file which i have uh, written over here you can see that api version and the kind is deployment and the name of the deployment is nginx um, uh, and the replicas i am maintaining is three and the specs and the container name and the port uh, is 80. so that's the one so let's see kubectl create iphone f and uh, provide the file so now you can see that the deployment of the nginx has been completed now if you see the kubectl get ports now you can see that there are the containers which is creating um, three containers which is as per the specifications we have provided if you go to the um, file here if you see that uh, we specified the uh, replicas as, as three so that the three containers the controller manager the replication controller manager will actually look into it and uh, deploy the three replicas of that one okay um let's see ports so it's still creating it will take a few minutes to create the containers after that we'll see uh, maybe we'll change that um, configuration to the uh, the desired states might be going to be the containers are five then see how it goes right so let it create so it, it takes some time to download the containers and bring up the containers uh, here since it is a new cluster i did not have before the nginx image downloaded so that's why it takes some time to download those containers and uh, make it running uh, on the cluster so now you can see our containers are running fine three containers uh, as per the replication policy what we have uh, given on the config file let's go ahead and delete that config file and make it um, replicas numbers might be uh, 5 or 10 something like that so make it 5 so that uh, it um, creates the 5 replicas of the containers okay so before that just see uh, get ports so we have a three ports here so let's apply the same configuration iphone f i do the nginx now it gives the error but uh, saying that uh, uh, the resource uh, some error showing so and so but the deployment is configured now if you see the port it says it's five you can see that they become five so there are two containers which came as a age of 12 seconds so that way you can do the deployments which is on a replication controller manager which make sure that your desired state is um, successful that's about the kubernetes deployment please follow us on social networking site uh, one is uh, facebook the facebook page name is uh, at linux ark it uh, you can click on 
this button here and click like page so that you can follow us on Facebook the next one is Instagram uh, Instagram name page name is arkit.co.in click on follow button to follow me and uh, Twitter if you have any questions on uh, subject line or if you have anything you can just tweet me at a Ravi Kumar 48 so I will reply you most on the tweet back for anything related if you want the latest articles on my website so here is my website details and email address details you can reach me over here 